Hello everyone and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video, we're actually going to go over um, concatenating strings. And this is actually a very important topic because um, this is actually very common. Um, say for instance, we have um, from the while loop and we wanted to add another string to it. Um, let's say we had var my name equals Ian. All right. And we wanted to add number plus my name. All right. And we could get away with that. So that's all we had to do is just essentially add this to it. So while we do that, boom, there it is. Shows up from the while loop, Ian, number Ian. So what if we wanted to add a variable to it that's an integer that is actually not a string? So what we would do is, fortunately, C sharp is smart enough to know that we can just say index. And when we add it like that, it will run. And there we go. From the while loop, number zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, but this looks a little sloppy and can get a little gross. Um, so what is a nice tool is actually being able to um, put the variable inside of the string itself. So instead of doing this, we can just slip the variable inside of here. So in order to do that though, before our string, we need to add this dollar sign. This dollar sign essentially lets um, the reader know when you're when it's reading the string that oops, that there is a variable inside the string. So watch out. And then these brackets right here, these curly braces, um, essentially wrap the variable. So we could just do I right here, and it's a much cleaner way so that we don't see a bunch of pluses and we're adding a ton of things everywhere. And as you can see, the while loop has the number and the for loop also has the numbers. All right, and that is how you uh, concatenate strings. Um, again, very simple, but very useful. Um, again, this way, is a lot cleaner, looks a lot better, um, but again, you can do this as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.